worldwide liquidators. Boy, that looks like a happy place to work. They liquidate in there. And that's part of that same office that had gotten rather carelessly painted over. That's on the that's on Fifth Street. Relax, play pool. That's uh, that street is one of the worst streets in, in L.A. and still is. It's pretty run down and I'm sort of unhappy. Sigler. Well, I I like that they. It's, they made the sign with the uh, the pipe holding it up, and then somebody pulled the whole thing out of the ground, and you got this cement thing at the end with the metal thing attached to it. I wanted to take it home, but I didn't have a truck big enough to put it in. That's kind of not very well focused. and It does have a nice tall ladder attached to it, I think they're just painting the and a beer a beer ad um, by by hand on the on the billboard, which I don't know if they still do that, but it used to be the way most of them were done before they were printed on paper. And that guy uh, Ned does male female jobs. That's the back of his store. I don't know what goes on in there, but apparently they have male-female jobs. And that's Charo, a famous Mexican singer. I don't know who that guy is, if you were into... But it's right on Sunset Strip, and behind it is the Chateau Marmont, where many uh, celebrities stayed and some lived over time. That's the rejection specialist again in New Jersey. Rejection repairs. You bring your car in to have it inspected and if they don't like something, they don't give you your license so then you have to uh, get the work done and take it back. All right, so here we are. This is Beverly Boulevard and La Cienega Boulevard in Los Angeles. I think Ed Ruscher made a famous photograph of that same corner. And all of that material, all those little buildings and everything are completely gone. Now there's uh, only very huge buildings there. Disco team open Friday and Saturday. And that's another unused billboard or maybe there'd been something on it before and they spray painted it yellow somewhere out in the western desert and that's a little hard to tell quite what you're looking at but it's obviously a Sears and Roebuck store in the San Fernando Valley and that sign must be at least 40 feet high it's just magnificent and it's all edged out with the neon behind it. And that would be enough to come from a very exuberant period of the early 1950s. And now the whole thing's completely gone. Sears. Dinosaur tracks. They're over that way. So if you're tracking your dinosaur, close to it. And there's a lookout mountain over there that's somewhere up in eastern Sierra, I guess. It all goes. There was a going out of business sale taking place. I forget what it was they were selling. It might have been tires. And that's the smoke sign. And it has a hinge so that the cop or whoever's managing it can come by and un unhinge it and it would fold down and it wouldn't say smoke anymore. So if you're looking for Beverly Hills, uh, you're close. You're really close. 188? Beverly Hills, right lane, no services. I like that place. It was a 
right out in front of a little motel that we were staying in, in somewhere in Utah, sort of southwest Utah, I think. And that's uh, a sign made undoubtedly by a white man in, um, uh, depicting an Indian who was not from India, but was a Native American, actually. And it was a it was a place that sold uh, rugs, I think, and uh, craft items. And in Northern California, there's a, is a, a great place to fish for, sand. and so there's a lot of people up there that are building boats or repairing them, or, and so that that was where the sign it was. It was carved out of a single log of redwood, which you can get up there, and then painted. White's Motel in Mojave, California. And that was in New York City. It was, I think, a place that made buttons. And, uh, and they, were, they said that they were perfect. Something whole. 